Hello, good fiber. How are you doing today? It is your girl Esther Joy coming at you with another video. So in this video, we wanted to talk about the power of prayer, something that I'm sure we're all familiar with. And I think often that we don't really see the value or maybe we undermine the value of prayer. But in this video, I really want to just open your eyes to the potential power that prayer wields. And yeah, so let's just hop into it and watch and to really see what we can perceive. So I know that if you've like grown up with like religion being prayer is something that I think is the ultimate part of most of these religions, uh, regardless of what religion you are or what your beliefs are, this idea of prayer is really connected. And like, I think we take for granted that we're literally given the ability to understand that we're communicating with the creator, like we're communicating with the creator. The living source of all life is connected to us and we're able to communicate with it. And when we pray, we hear what's in our hearts and we speak it out loud and we ask, we ask. And it can be, hey, I need help with this. Or it could be literally like, I just wanted to acknowledge and thank God Almighty, living life source, creator, Allah, Jale, all the beauty, full, parts of this life source that is streaming through me, you, and every single being, and just acknowledge that. So when we pray, we are communicating with the creator. We are acknowledging that there is a being that is with us and watching us and is seeing us for who we are and that can see our soul, our minds, our bodies, and just our heart. And that's the beauty of prayer. I think, again, so often we see it and I know I've seen it in my own life where people are just praying and they're not actually even thinking about what they're saying or who they're talking to. If we could really personify this being and of course we already have personified them as Jesus Christ and that's how we understand Jesus. But on a more note connecting back to the creator which is really what jesus was just here to do i think they were just in a constant stream of what you could see or i see as prayer because even though they weren't and i think a lot of people you know they pray when things go bad right like we pray when life just seems rough we pray when those moments of like mm, mm, you know, I, I'm not sure. I'm like losing faith. I need to pray. We pray in those times, usually when we're in a lower vibration or something has happened, which we're worried about. And so we go to the creator in order to receive that kind of condolence and to receive that moment of understanding that we are okay. So this is how we usually do it. And maybe you do the same thing with people, right? You don't really hit up someone unless you need something from them. But that doesn't take away the fact that the creator is literally always with you. And so I know that I probably get tired of people who just always came up to me and was like, hey, I need this, or hey, I need this kind of money to pay my rent, or hey, I need you to help me heal and recover faster. And yes, that is absolutely, I think, a big part of prayer. And it really does highlight that even these bad things the things that happen in our lives that just are hard to process bring us usually closer if we use prayer in such a way. But I wanted to really talk about using prayer properly, right? We're not here to just talk or make a show for other people. We're not here to, you know, gain other people's approval. When you're talking to the creator, that is an intimate connection with you and the creator. And it can look like so many things. For some people, it literally looks like they're just in silence. They're just allowing themselves to be present with the creator that is flowing through them and really attune themselves to that energy that is always there, but it's so subtle that sometimes we overlook it. You know, prayer can look like literally just waking up and being thankful. Affirmations are a form of prayer because we are one 
wanting these things to happen most of the times. We are wanting, whether it's a positive affirmation about your confidence or your life, we are wanting these things to happen. So we say, I am, I am, I am so thankful, this is. And we are sharing that, we're speaking it into existence. Really, that's a form of prayer because you are connecting with the creator. You're acknowledging that there's an all omnipotent force, a universal life force that is streaming through you and is listening to you. And so by sharing these affirmations, you are again, understanding that this is a form of prayer. But no, I'm not here to say, really just want to highlight, and this is the highlight of this chat and why I just wanted to share this with you, fam. We are not here to just mindlessly talk for ourselves or other people. We're not here to just repeat the same prayer over and over again. Although I know that there may be power in that, imagine talking to an actual person and repeating the same thing over and over again, which some of us do. And I'm not here to bash on it, but really think about the power of your words because it's not just the phrase of what you're saying. It's not just the words you're saying, but again, this all omnipotent life force is scanning all of your energy. It's your mind, it's your body, it's your soul. It's what you're focused on when you're saying those words. And that's the beauty of prayer. That's the beauty of prayer. It is a form of meditation because you are allowing yourself to focus and understand this connection with the creator that you have. And so even speaking right now, I am channeling through a lot about prayer because it just came over me. You know, my friend Juan as was just like, yo, can you pray for me? I would really appreciate it. I'm, you know, in my pastor's house. And she also asked for some prayer and, you know, just prayer of healing. And I'm here, I'm here, I'm here to just connect, you know, connect with God and say, hey God, thank you for sending these people to me. Thank you for allowing me to take a moment to get closer to you and closer to them through prayer, through understanding that just saying these words and using my spirit, my mind, my body, my soul, I can connect to you and I can understand that all things happen for a reason. And I am thankful for that. And I can ask you to just be more connected with them. May they know that their prayers are answered. And this is the idea of understanding that as soon as you say a prayer, it is answered. You don't have to wait okay it's not like god come you know come through your prayers are answered maybe even before you even say it if we're being honest because again greatest of all dimensions they already know all the possible realities and dimensions that you can hop on this timeline at this present moment and they know why you would hop on those timelines because again they know your energy they literally are you they are you there is no line when it comes to that creation and creator because the creator has made the creation from the creator's source, if that makes sense. Okay, but I'm not here to blur the lines. I'm just here to say that prayer is really, really powerful, that it is a tool to be used during this time. I know in some areas of the world, prayer is kind of being banned because it's not seen as something that is scientifically accurate. And I think if you're watching this, you know being uh, involved with the occult and studying the occult a lot, the most beautiful things come from the things that we cannot prove. Pr proof yeah the miracles come from that idea of awe and not really knowing how it has come to pass and we're all praying for miracles out here and we don't need to scientifically prove that but scientifically i mean people who pray generally speaking have a greater a more positive outlook in light and possibly could live a little bit longer so it wouldn't help hurt to give prayer a try and i'm sure that you all have tried praying at one point or another. This is just a reminder of the power of prayer and to implement even more in your daily life, okay? Pray before you leave the house. Uh, this is again an idea of setting those in intentions. When you pray, you are setting intentions, but you're not just setting intentions. You're communicating with the creator those intentions. You're communicating with them and you can actually see that feedback, okay? If you want to talk to God, pray. If you want to talk to your spirit guides, pray. If you're wanting to see a transformation in your life, pray. But don't just pray. Have the faith in your prayer, okay? Again, there's a difference between just saying things, I want this, or I am so rich and wealthy. And then there's an, another part which comes from your soul, which comes from your heart, which comes from understanding what you are actually a part of, the life that is streaming through you, and the power that it wields. So when you are praying, know that it is more than just what you're saying. You don't have to say a single thing to pray pray a 
effectively. You don't have to say a single thing. If your thought, your mind, your body, and your soul is in the right place, then you are praying. There are many times where I have prayed and when my heart and my soul and my body is just all in it and it's really praying from a place of connecting to that life source and understanding that it's literally here. It's listening to me. It's listening to you. It is with us in this space. That changes everything. Th like this, my prayers are answered and it becomes something that is so amazing. It's like how could we ever for a second be afraid of anything when we can we are connected to the creator and the creator is listening to us so understand that if you're watching this video it's for a reason this is a reminder to really pray and i'm not just saying say things but i'm saying really get in your spirit get into your heart what are you really wanting to pray about and let's just take a moment to pray right now okay Feeling your heart, okay? God, I pray. I pray that the beings that are here, Source, that are through that are through you and coursing through me and that we are connected in this moment, I pray that you know what is on their heart. And I pray that you will reveal that to them if they don't already know, that they will understand deeply what they are feeling and what they are wanting and why they may feel this heaviness within their soul. I pray that you will be able to lift up this toll and you will be able to assist them with what they are wanting and crying and just really waiting for. God, I pray that they wait no more, but they see that the door has been opened for them to walk through, to see speak in your name and to understand that there is no shame in connecting with you in understanding that you are always with them and I pray that as they continue throughout the day that this understanding this connection this grace it it fills their cup overflowing so that they may know you that they will be such an example of a human being connected to source that mankind will have no other choice but to understand that this is a sovereign connection that is not just one or two or three people or four or a million but every single soul every single person every single animal every single plant every single solar system star that is in this being every single particle atom they are all connected, God. And I pray with this knowledge, with this understanding, with this wisdom that we navigate through life and that we connect with you even more deeply, however that looks. I pray that your answers will be heard and that you will take the confidence in your prayer to really connect with your spirit. If there's anything in your mind right now that is resisting, that is saying that no, this cannot be done, God, I pray that this will be shed light on and that you will uplift this limitation because now is the time to connect with God, source almighty creator of all living things. And I pray that as you continue to connect with us, that we may open our eyes and our souls so that we can truly experience this life in the most blissful and beautiful way ever possibly conceived at this moment. <sighs> I love you. I thank you. I pray that as we continue, we love each other and that we love the experiences, whether we perceive them as bad or good, that we understand that they are happening for a reason and we grow closer to you in our connection with our soul and our hearts, that we grow our hearts in a pure place and that we cleanse any uncleanness, anything that we feel within ourselves needs to be removed at this time that you know fully where and how and why you can do this and i pray that your will be done lord god almighty source of oneness consciousness and all beings that dwell within this experience i pray that you be with them that you grow in and through and around them and that you protect them through whatever may happen. Amen.